Boeing has released a stealth multi-role unmanned combat aerial vehicle known as the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, officially named as MQ-28A. The MQ-28 is designed as an uncrewed collaborative combat aircraft that leverages smart human machine technology to serve as a force multiplier. Its primary purpose is to team with existing military aircraft, thereby extending and expanding their capabilities and exponentially increasing their ability to project force. In its loyal wingman role, the Ghost Bat is specifically designed to support and protect manned Air Force aircraft such as the F-35A, F-A-18F, E-7A, and KC-30A during operations. It can perform various tasks under the control of apparent aircraft, including scouting, absorbing enemy fire if attacked, or executing autonomous missions independently using artificial intelligence. The Ghost Bat offers a pathway to rapidly scale up military might and increase the sheer number of combat assets. This cost effectiveness is crucial for future distributed warfare concepts where the ability to deploy numerous, less expensive platforms can be a decisive advantage. This approach significantly reduces risk to existing crewed assets by allowing the unmanned combat aerial vehicle to undertake high-risk operations, thereby enhancing the operational effectiveness of the entire air power system. So, what is the MQ-28 BAT made up of? It is fundamentally a stealth, multi-role, unmanned combat aerial vehicle. The MQ-28 measures 11.7 meters long with a wingspan of about 7.3 meters. It has a payload capacity of over 1,000 pounds. It is designed to fly more than 2,000 nautical miles. This substantial range, combined with an endurance of 16 hours, grants the Ghost Bat significant operational reach and persistence. This capability is crucial for extending intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions over vast distances and for providing sustained support to deep strike operations. Its low observable characteristics are primarily achieved through its aerodynamic shape, relying on its form to reduce its radar cross-section rather than extensive use of radiation-absorbent material coating. A cornerstone of its design is the modular mission package system located in the nose section. This allows the entire nose to be quickly removed and swapped for another with a different payload, enabling rapid reconfiguration for diverse missions such as combat, force reconnaissance, or electronic warfare. This emphasis on a modular nose and an open system architecture signifies a strategic design philosophy aimed at operational agility. The aircraft features an open system architecture which is platform agnostic and provides significant mission flexibility. This design choice facilitates rapid capability insertion and the integration of third-party payloads, allowing allied forces to exploit rapid innovation cycles and respond effectively to changing threat environments. This implies a strategic advantage, particularly in expansive operational theaters such as the Indo-Pacific, where long-range capabilities are paramount and we can see simulations on potential strike targets shortly. The MQ-28 is equipped with advanced autonomous systems and technology incorporating smart human-machine interfaces. Its control software is enhanced with artificial intelligence, enabling a high level of autonomy. By offloading complex data-intensive tasks like real-time decision-making and threat assessment to the AI, human pilots can focus on strategic oversight, higher-level command, and critical tactical decisions. When you think about the ammunition the MQ-28 can carry, it has a payload capacity of up to 1,000 pounds. It features five hardpoints, two on each wing and one on the center line. Potential armaments include the Joint Strike Missile, AIM-9 Sidewinder, AIM-92 Stinger, AGM-114 Hellfire, AIM-120 AMRAM, and AGM-179 JAGM. The modular missionized nose is a key feature, allowing for rapid swapping of payloads. While initially focused on an ISR role, strike missions are an option for further development. With a substantial range of more than 2,000 nautical miles, which may be extended with aerial refueling capability and endurance of over 16 hours, the MQ-28 by T can be deployed for relatively long or short strike missions from a base or naval carrier. It can be deployed from strike groups aboard naval carriers or from strategic military bases like Diego Garcia for long-range strike missions, which gives it the ability to hit targets on any continent with relative ease. It can be used for strike missions in locations like Iran, which is about 3,200 miles from Diego Garcia with aerial refueling, or targets in Yemen, which is about 1,400 miles from Diego Garcia. In terms of strategic importance and risk reduction, its primary strategic advantage lies in delivering affordable combat mass, complementing and enhancing both crewed and uncrewed air domain missions. A significant operational impact is its ability to reduce risk to existing crewed assets. By taking on high-risk operations such as scouting, absorbing enemy fire, suppressing enemy air defenses or conducting reconnaissance in hostile territory, the Ghost Bat safeguards valuable manned aircraft and highly trained human pilots. The MQ-28 is designed to be approximately one-tenth the cost of a crewed platform, with an estimated unit cost of $50 million. 
While expensive, it remains significantly more affordable than a fifth generation fighter like the F-35, which costs about $80 million and prices can significantly drop with large orders and rapidly evolving research and development. So what's the implication for future combat missions? This could lead to a strategic reevaluation of future manned aircraft procurement, potentially reducing the need for additional manned squadrons and shifting investment towards autonomous systems, fundamentally altering the long-term force structure. This cost efficiency allows for a larger number of combat assets to be deployed, increasing overall operational capacity and resilience. In highly contested environments, where sophisticated air defenses pose a significant threat to traditional crewed aircraft, the ability to deploy numerous lower-cost autonomous platforms enhances the survivability of the overall force. If some ghost bats are lost during high-risk missions, the impact on overall combat capability and human life is significantly less severe than losing a manned fighter. This approach enables air forces to maintain operational tempo and achieve mission objectives even when facing advanced adversaries. Please subscribe to this channel and let us know your feedback in the comments.